Now we're coming into exam season and we all want to give our students the very, very best chance of success. And if you're anything like me, that involves sharing exam resources and ways of solving those exam questions to our students so they can go through it in their own time. But firstly, an apology. I say to you that I will post videos every single week and I haven't stuck to that recently. The main reason being is that I lost my voice. Well, it's back now and I'm back, recommitted to posting every single week. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos which I'm posting every single week. Now there is one part of setting up the page which you're gonna share via Gumtree or direct to your students, which is crucial to make sure you do. And whenever I didn't do it, the database with all the key info in it didn't display. So make sure you watch right to the very end and you will catch that key step, which I got wrong. The information didn't display to my students. I had them coming back to me saying, sir, you said you've got this page full of exam questions and exam papers. Where is, where are those exam papers? Make sure you watch the very end and you'll catch that bit. All right, so we're gonna jump on to the, onto Notion in a couple of seconds, and then I'll be able to show you this one database, which I have database in my whole system. But I can filter that and share different views of that database on different pages, depending on whether I'm sharing that page with students who maybe we don't want to give away the most recent mocks or the most recent past papers to, or if we're sharing it with other teachers in our department, or maybe you want to share this page on Gumroad. And fundamentally, you can go on Gumroad if you click on the link in the description. You can go on Gumroad and download this whole page for absolute free. So maybe you're interested in how I've set it up, or you want to actually use the resources in it if you are a math teacher in the UK or studying the IGCSE syllabus uh, anywhere else abroad, you will find these resources pretty useful, okay? So you can access those via the Gumroad link in the description of this video, okay? Jumping into Notion now, I'm gonna talk you through the exact setup that I have for sharing my past exam papers with question papers and mark schemes with my students and anyone else who is interested in a copy of those resources. So when you click on the link at the, in the description for this video, you will be taken, after a couple of very straightforward steps on the Gum, Gumroad website, um, and you're very welcome to pay me for this, but I'm not asking for that. I mean, I'm giving it to you for free, so you do not have to pay me. Um, you will get this page, which we're now looking at, okay? And just to talk you through, I have put in a, a cover image there, which is relevant and nice and just gives a, a flavor for what the page is all about. Uh, it's maths exam questions. I've got changed my icon to Pearson at Excel, so it's quite clear if I'm elsewhere in my system, it's very clear that this is to do with exams and to do with maths exams in my case. Got myself a title, uh, a relevant title, and you can search by that title for elsewhere in your Notion system. And then I have a few notes just to explain to yourself and to me in future about this table and hey, I might um, add a couple of notes to that and I can do that uh, anytime I like. So that was done just by adding uh, a heading for, the, for a few notes bit and then a few bullet points there. But the main bulk of this is the IGCSE past exam papers. <clears throat> And as a maths teacher, everyone knows that they're coming in here for maths, hopefully, so I'm not, I haven't included that in the title of my table. And all I've got in this table is just a number of properties across the top. And I, to me, these are the relevant bits of info. Uh, you might think otherwise, but you can customize that for your own needs and for your subject uh, and the exam board that you teach, maybe. So I give each paper a name, um, which is relevant to that paper. I set an exam date. Now, I normally sort this table by the exam date. Okay, that's typically the way I want to view this table. So I went in and gave you the practice papers, put them right to the very first exam, past paper, right to the very first exam dates for those papers, just so they list at the very top of the table. And I'll probably do the same here for these papers, for the sample assessment material, for example, down at the bottom here. This is a work in progress, okay? So the, hence why there are empty spaces across the table. Um, Dr. Frost Maths issues some very useful um, online versions of these past papers. So those are these papers that I wouldn't have to mark. The students go on to, can go on to Dr. Frost and attempt these questions themselves. There is that 
paper, for example, in Dr. Frost, really useful. But um, he doesn't do it for them all, so it's only available for some papers, so there they are listed in there. Uh, Hegarty, another website, very useful for maths teachers, um, produces question level um, analysis spreadsheets, so those are linked as attachments in there for the relevant papers. Again, not done for every single paper, done for some papers, but these are the things you can be sharing in here. Then I have question papers linked here. <coughs> Quite simply just uploaded as a file from my computer from wherever I downloaded it to. Mark schemes this is separately so maybe early in the year we would not display the mark schemes, we would hide the mark schemes for our students and then later in the year come back in here if this is the page that students are looking at and we would then maybe display um, those mark schemes so the students could then see those mark schemes displayed and Oh, wrong. Hide, and we'll come in here, and we'll go to properties, and we would say, right, mark scheme, I want my students to be seeing the mark scheme now, so I've sh I'm viewing that in this particular view. Then I want to share with the students what the grade boundaries were for each of those papers. All right, so again, not by no means complete, but in the November 2020 exam papers, here we can see the November 2020 exam papers, those papers, it was to get a nine at GCSE, you need to get 71% and so on. And I'm able to list that there and display that with the students. Okay, so that is in the page <clears throat> which I share with my students via Gumroad, okay? Share this with my students via Gumroad. And my students only see this page. All right, they can't, they wouldn't have any of these other links up at the top because I've just shared this page here. I've dropped the link at the top of this page into my Gumroad advert. And you'll only be able to see this if you click on the Gumroad link in the description of this video. However, sitting behind that and above this page in my Notion system is my project page. And this is my project page for Gumroad Notion templates for teachers. So you wouldn't be able to see this. You can just see this page. But what I do have here is if I'm selling or sharing these um, past papers and mark schemes in Gumroad, I have a little list here of the normal info which I would be sharing um, in in Gumroad so that if I want to create the same advert in other on other platforms, Gumroad is only one of the options for selling digital resources, we've got other platforms we can share them in, then I've got this information ready to go and I don't need to reduplicate that information. Um, so let's go back in there. So this is the page which I'm sharing. Now I would maybe want to view this database elsewhere in my system, all right, so I would be able to um, copy that link and go up onto the my page which only I can view for this project and click create linked view of the database and now what I may decide is on this particular view which is the view that only I can see I would want to see a few extra columns so maybe for example I want to I have this page printed out on my own OneNote exam paper printed out in OneNote so I can teach from the front of the room on that exam paper and there it is linked there and for my own admin have I printed the mark scheme for that paper no one else needs to know that on my Gumroad advert but here I can share that or for my own admin I can keep a record of that whether I've printed the mark schemes or not so I can mark the papers quickly what I'm not going to do in this video is talk you through the exact steps by which I post my um, Notion page in Gumroad. What I will do is I'll link to another video uh, by someone else which I followed to post this page on Gumroad, okay? So you don't need to listen to me do it. There's another much better video and there's hundreds of videos out there showing us how to list pages on Gumroad. All I'm showing you here is how I do it so I can share this page with my students and you can also access this page and duplicate it to your Notion system. Whenever you come in here, you will see a duplicate option in the top right. So click on the link in the description, come up to duplicate in the top right and you'll be able to duplicate this page to your Notion system. And then as I add new bits, 
to it, you'll be able to see those new bits in your Notion system. Super useful, all right? Really, really useful. Way of sharing this information in a, an easy to use and easily accessible format. Okay, and the issue I talk, mentioned at the very start that I was gonna show you a key, a problem I had when I was setting up this page, right? Initially, I hosted this database on another part of my system and then linked from that database, which is hosted elsewhere in my system, into a linked, created a linked copy in this page, which I then shared with you and with my students. The problem with that was that I then needed to go back into the other, the, the, where the database is actually hosted and share the database from that page as well as share this page on Gumroad and it was all getting a bit complicated. Much, much better is to do what I've done in this video, which is host the database on the page that you wanna share in Gumroad or share directly with your students. Host it in this page. And then create a linked view of this page elsewhere in your system. You can add columns and you can hide columns on your linked view, wherever you've got it in your system. Um, and that won't change what your students can view on your page that you've shared in Gumroad. But what it means is that then you only have to share that one page, which includes the database as you have it viewed in the page you want to share on Gumroad. So the message is host the database you want to share, host it on the page which you share in Gumroad, and then create linked views of that page elsewhere in your system. So I hope that's been useful today, all right? You've been watching Notion for Teachers, I'm Andrew. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you will catch my videos which I am back to publishing every single week. All right, the voice is back, I'm back, committed to serving you every single week with a new video which helps you in having that Notion system work for you rather than you working for it. Thanks a lot for watching again. Really, really appreciate it if you stuck around tonight. Um, and yeah, see you later this week.